Are you tired of feeling lost or unfulfilled? Do you struggle to find meaning in your daily life? If so, you're in the right place. I get how frustrating it all is, because I've been there, punching the clock for the weekend, not sure whether or not to pursue something because what if it's not the one thing you want to do for the rest of your life, or finding nothing all that exciting. We've been fed so many lies on what you need to do to find your passion that we either go in circles or give up, frustrated. You see, conventional wisdom on how to find your passion, like most conventional wisdom, is ripe with misnomers and bad advice. It's time you stop searching for your passion and start living it, and I'm going to help you do that in less than 10 minutes. By debunking these common lies, you can approach the process of finding and living your passion with a more realistic and open mindset. Not only will we present and explain the lie, but we'll give you the truth and an actionable idea related to each one, so you can find more meaning in your life and spend more time on things you enjoy. Lie number one. Passion is instantly recognizable. The belief that you should instantly recognize your passion can lead to impatience and frustration, or a belief that something is wrong with you. The truth is that discovering your passion is often a process of exploration and self-discovery. It may take time to recognize and fully understand what truly fulfills you, and some things that you expect will fulfill you, won't, or will get old. So, take the time to reflect on your interests, experiences, and moments that bring you happiness, satisfaction, and fulfillment. Consider what activities make you lose track of time or energize you. Find the tribe of people that you want to help. Lie number two, passion doesn't take work or discipline. The idea that performing in your passion should come naturally and effortlessly can lead people to believe that if they face challenges or have to work hard, it's not their true passion. Even with a true passion, there will be challenges and hard work involved. You can love something, but not be very good at it. Yet, passion doesn't exempt you from putting in effort and overcoming obstacles. Even when passionate, achieving goals requires discipline and perseverance. Understand that challenges and hard work are inherent in pursuing your passion. Develop discipline and perseverance to overcome obstacles. Break down your goals into manageable steps and celebrate small victories. Lie number three. Passion must lead to a specific career. The belief that your passion must directly translate into a specific career or job can limit exploration and creativity. Your passion can manifest in various ways, and it's not always tied to a conventional job. You can find fulfillment by integrating your passion into different aspects of your life. Maybe it's volunteer work or just an extracurricular activity. Consider how you can integrate your passion into different aspects of your life. It could be through a hobby, a side project, or as we mentioned before, finding a tribe that you want to help. Explore unconventional paths that align with your passion. Lie number four. Passion should be productive and profitable. The notion that your passion must be productive or profitable can lead to the dismissal of activities that bring joy but may not seem immediately practical. Is performing in the local theater not a passion just because the actors don't get paid or paid much? The truth is, pursuing what you love is valuable in itself. Not every passion needs to be turned into a lucrative business or career. The misconception that every passion must be turned into a source of income can overshadow the intrinsic value of enjoying something for its own sake. Don't dismiss activities that bring joy just because they may not seem immediately practical. Find a balance between activities that align with your passion and those that serve other aspects of your life. Lie number five, passion should be singular. The belief that you can only have one true passion can be limiting, especially for those with diverse interests. People can have multiple passions, and it's perfectly normal to explore different aspects of life that bring joy and fulfillment. We are pressured to find and pursue one singular passion, but it's a dangerously limiting idea. It keeps us from doing many things we enjoy. Explore different aspects of life that bring joy and fulfillment. Don't feel confined to a single passion. Engage in activities that cater to various interests and allow yourself to pursue diverse passions. Lie number six, passion is fixed and unchanging. The idea that your passion is fixed and unchanging can create anxiety and doubt, leading to indecision. Passions can evolve and shift throughout life. It's okay to explore new interests and adapt to changing circumstances. Passion is a feeling that can change, not a plan, and should not be used as a yardstick to judge everything. Focusing too much on finding a singular passion can lead to missing out on opportunities and potential relationships. Find what excites you and energizes you now and pursue that. 
There's no rule that says you can't change directions when something energizes you more. Allow your passions to evolve. Be open to exploring new interests and adapting to changing circumstances. Regularly assess your passions and be willing to adjust your pursuits based on what excites and energizes you at different stages of life. Lie number seven. Passion guarantees success and happiness. Assuming that following your passion is a guaranteed path to success and eternal happiness oversimplifies the complexities of life. The truth is that pursuing passion is meaningful, but success often involves a combination of factors, including hard work, resilience, and adaptability. Understand that success requires more than passion. Combine your passion with a strong work ethic, resilience in the face of challenges, and the ability to adapt to changing circumstances. Set realistic goals and be persistent in achieving them. Lie number eight, external validation determines your passion. Relying solely on external validation to define your passion can lead to a distorted sense of fulfillment. You shouldn't do something for praise or become a doctor, no matter how noble it is, just because your parents want you to. Your passion should align with your authentic self, not just what others perceive as valuable or prestigious. Reflect on what truly brings you fulfillment and aligns with your values. Don't solely rely on external validation or societal expectations. Trust your own judgment and pursue what resonates with your authentic self. Lie number nine. Passion is a destination, not a journey. Viewing passion as a destination can create unrealistic expectations. Passion is a continuous journey of self-discovery and growth. Understand that it's not a fixed endpoint, but a lifelong journey. Regularly reassess your goals and adapt your passions to align with your evolving self. By debunking these lies, you can free yourself from the constraints that have kept you searching. Remember, it's not about finding your passion, it's about living it. So find what lights you up right now and do that. And if it changes, you can course correct. Ideally, most of your waking hours would be spent pursuing your purpose and passions, but sometimes that's not possible. You may have to work for the paycheck and play with the passion. Not to mention, you can always find more meaning in what you're currently doing. Have you looked at the bigger picture of what you currently do? There's a self-help story that many know. It goes like this. Three masons were asked what they do. The first said, I stack stones. The second said, I shape and craft beautiful stones. The third said, I build cathedrals. Which one saw the big picture? Which one do you think felt more purpose and satisfaction at the end of the day? Are you just a stockbroker or do you help people go to college or retire? Are you a nanny or a coach? Or are you turning young people into responsible adults? If you can't make a shift right now in your job, make the shift in your mind to find more purpose in what you are currently doing. We have an extensive purpose-finding process in our course, Live a No Limit Life. If you want to dive in deep on this subject, craft your ideal self and life purpose, our course will get you there with a money-back guarantee. Click on the link in the description.